After installing the quad alt, I ran into a bit of an issue. Um, the external regulator that I have is not really liking all the amperage that's in there. So it actually um, burned out on me. So what I'm going to do for now, um, I have a new regulator that just came in today. I'm waiting on one more, but I'm going to hook up uh, two of the alternators to this regulator, the new one rather. Um, I've been asked by a couple people to show how these are installed. Uh, it's very simple, so I'm going to take a video of me installing it. I'm going to take the old one out. Um, I'm probably going to come under scrutiny for this because it's a little ghetto the way I have it wired. Trust me, I know, but I don't have this crimped yet. It's going to be crimped. I'm just using some uh, electrical tape at the moment, but uh, trust me, I'm aware that it needs to be changed. All right, I have the regulator unscrewed now. I found it convenient to just put it on the fuse box of the car. It didn't ever give me really an issue screwing it in. I do need to hurry this up because it looks like it's starting to ring. I just got it screwed down now. Uh, I do believe that they make this regulator in a 12 volt adjustable module as well. So those of you that are trying to externally regulate your 12 volt cars, we'll be using a box very similar to this. On the side, we have positive, negative, and field. Uh, what this means is, I'll show you my positive right here. This is my positive wire. So, we'll unscrew this. All right, that wire is a four gauge wire that comes all the way through to the back. I have a circuit breaker installed right here. I don't have it, uh, I don't have it bolted on yet, but uh, that goes like that. And then if I want to turn it on, I just flip the switch without any problems. It's been good. Um, the wire runs all the way back here and comes to here. And this is a 16 volt post for my batteries. And then that is the positive on the external regulator. For the negative, I just have it wired directly to my 12 volt battery, which is of course grounded to the car. So but the not battery. least is the field wire. Your field wire is pretty much what separates your alternator from an internally regulated alternator. It's a single wire that comes out of your alternator that plugs into the regulator. The regulator controls through the field what your voltage is going to be. So this is a very important wire. Right now I have three of them hooked up. I'm going to I'm going to drop it down to two since I had an issue with running all three before and so did Blake Hunt. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with him, but he had the same alternators and same issue. So I'm going to take this off, plug this on, and basically the regulator is installed. Um, pretty much after that, should have some more YouTube videos coming now because this is the part that I have been waiting on. But uh, if it doesn't work out, you probably never see this video anyways.